So in this particular video, we'll be going over the tab navigator in React Navigation 5. I won't be going over the basics of the tab navigator, but in fact, I'll just be covering some interesting scenarios that you might encounter in creating your real world app. So first things first, let's go ahead and install the tab navigator. So in the documentation, we'll head over to the guides, select tab navigation, and then we want to go to create bottom tab navigator. Here, we'll just copy this line out, come back to our app, open up our terminal, and let's paste that in here. Now let's go ahead and create our tab navigator. So here on top, we'll say import create bottom tab navigator. And we need to get react navigation forward slash bottom tabs. Next, let's go ahead and create our tab navigator here by saying const. Let's call that tab and we'll say create tab navigator. Now, as of now in our app, we just have one stack navigator which has a home screen and a settings screen. Let's go ahead and create one more screen, which we can call the feed screen. And then we'll move the settings screen to our tab navigator as well. So I'm just going to create a functional component. Call that feed screen. And now let's go ahead and create our tab navigator. So let's say const home tab navigator is equal to, and here we'll pass in tab dot navigator. And inside that we'll pass in tab dot screen. The name of the screen will be home and the component it will point to is the home screen. The next one will be our feed screen and the component it will point to is the feed screen. There should be screen here. And lastly, we have the settings screen. Now, as of now, in our root stack navigator for our home screen, we're passing in the screen itself. Let's replace that out and pass in the home tab navigator. Let's save that. And as you can see, we're getting three screens, the home, the feed and the settings screens. Now let's first go ahead and create icons for these screens. And we want the color of that icon to change as well when that screen is active. So back to our home tab navigator. So we could pass in the icons individually in the screen by passing in options and then setting the tab bar icon here. Instead, let's just set that in our parent navigator. So here we can pass in something known as screen options, which will pass through all the tabs. Screen options has access to the route that we're on. Inside this, we'll get the tab bar icon, which can get a couple of properties like color and size. And here we'll just create a variable called icon name. Then we'll check if route.name is equal equal to home then set icon name equal to iOS home. Else if route.name is equal equal to the feed screen, set the icon name equal to, we'll just pass in the RSS logo. And lastly, else if route.name is equal equal to settings, we can set the icon name equal to iOS settings. Now we can just return one Ionicons component, pass the name as icon name, pass the size as the size and the color as the color that we passed in. Let's just go ahead and import in Ionicons. So here we'll say import Ionicons from at expo forward slash vector icons. So there we see we're getting our three icons and we see that the color of the icons is also updated accordingly when the screen is active. So this brings us to our first use case. When we're changing our tabs, we'd like the header to update its title as well. So let's see how we can do that. Let's come to our stack navigator. And here, the screen that's passing our tab navigator in is this particular screen here. So if you wanted to change the title, we'd have to change the title here. But that would mean that the title would change for all three screens since the stack navigator remains the same. So what we can do is instead of directly setting the title here, Let's get access to the route. Inside this, we want to set the title by calling another function, which we can call get header title. Let's pass in the route to it. Let's go ahead and create this method. So we'll say function get header title, pass in the route. And here we'll say const route name, try and extract out the route name from our route that's passed in. So we'll check if route.state exists because initially when the app opens up, 
route.state might be null and it's very important to give it a default value. Otherwise our app might crash. So here we'll say route.state.routes. Get the index of the route by going into route.state.index. So this will give us access to the specific route we're on. If route.state does not exist, we can get back the default value of home. Now we can check by using a switch statement what the route name actually is. So we'll say route name. If the route name is home, then just return the title as home. Otherwise, if it's feed, return feed. And lastly, if it's settings, then return settings. And actually here, once we get the specific route, we need to actually access the name of the route. So we have to pass in dot name. Now if we save this out and check out our app, when we're on our home tab, it sets the header as home. When we're on the feed tab, we see that the title gets updated to feed. And similarly on the settings tab, the title gets updated to settings. As of now, we're passing in get header title right here in our stack dot screen. There's also another way that we can do it. However, this way is recommended. Let's just comment this out and let's head over to our home tab navigator. Here, if you want, we can change this to curly braces. Let's return the tab navigator. And we can also update the header title here by calling navigation. Make sure to pull in navigation here. And then we can say set options. And we can pass in header title. And then we can call the method get header title and pass in the route. We have to make sure to pull in route as well and save that out. Now we see we get home as the title here. On the feed tab, we get feed. And on the settings tab, we get settings. Now the second interesting use case would be when one tab has more than one screen. So on the home screen itself, if you want to go deeper into three, four screens, you would probably need a stack navigator. So right now we've got go to settings screen here. Instead of that, let's create a new screen and let's call that detail screen. We'll go ahead and create a new navigator, which will be our home stack navigator. So here on top, let's say const home. Let's call that home stack and say create stack navigator. Now let's come down here and below our details screen, let's create our home stack navigator. So let's say const home stack navigator. It'll take the navigation and the routes as the props. Inside this, we'll return the home stack. So we'll say home stack dot navigator to create our navigator. And our first screen will be homestack.screen the name will be home and the component will be home screen let's duplicate that and pass in the second screen as details and the component will point to is details screen now in our home tab navigator where we were passing the home screen is the first screen let's pass in our home stack navigator let's save that out so now we see in the home screen we're getting two header bars before that, let's change this go to settings screen and make that go to details screen. So here I'm just going to make that go to details screen and pass in the screen name for details. Now if you click this, we're taken to the details screen, but we have these two headers here. One of the things we could do is we could go into our home stack navigator, pass in something on the screen options and say headers shown and set that to false. So now we see we're only getting one header, but when we go to the details screen, we don't have a way to go back since we're using the header, which is from the parent stack navigator, or we can say the root stack navigator. We want to actually remove this header and show the header of the current stack navigator, which is our home stack navigator. So in order to be able to set the properties of a parent stack navigator, we have to set the options in its image children. So for our root stack, our image child is this home tab navigator. So let's go to our root stack. So we'll say navigation native container. Inside this, this particular stack navigator is our root stack. One of the image children is this stack dot screen, which holds the home tab navigator. So we'll have to set the property to show or hide the header from this screen. So here, I'll uncomment this options line. Make sure that we remove this get header title that we had used here to set options. 
and we'll pass in another option called header shown. And for this, we'll set up another function. So let's call that should header be shown and pass in the route to it. Let's go ahead and set up this method. Here, let's say function should header be shown. It gets the route. Inside this, we need to get the route name. So we'll say const route name is equal to if the route dot state exists, then we'll get the route dot state dot routes, get the index of the route by saying route dot state dot index, and then access the name. Otherwise, by default, just pass home. Now we'll check if route name is home, then return false. What this means is when we're on the home tab, remove the header of the root stack navigator. Let's save that. And now we see we're not getting any header here. Now we can go back to our home stack navigator, remove this option. And we see that we're getting the header of our nested home stack navigator. Now, if you go to details screen, we see that the header title updates and we have the home button available to go back to the previous screen. If we change tabs, we see that the header title updates as expected. So we have one root tab inside which we have a tab navigator. Inside that tab navigator, our first tab, which is the home tab, is a stack navigator by itself. We're only showing the header of this particular stack navigator and hiding the header of the root stack navigator for this particular screen. On the other screens, we're showing the header of the root stack navigator itself. And now the last interesting use case that I came across would be if we're on the home screen and we go to the details screen, is there a way for us to hide this tab navigator from this particular screen? So now for this particular screen, the image parent of this screen is the home stack navigator. The image parent of the home stack navigator is this home tab navigator. So we want to change an option on the tab navigator so it can be done only from its image children, which in our case is this home stack navigator. So inside this, we can check if route.state exists, then we'll say navigation.set options. We'll set the tab bar visible property depending on the index of the particular state. So we'll check if route.state.index is greater than zero. As of now, when we're on the home screen, in our particular stack navigator, the index is zero. Whenever we go into any screen, which is like the detailed screen, our index is obviously greater than zero. So if it's greater than zero, then we don't want the tab navigator to be visible. Otherwise, we want it to be visible. Let's save that. And here we should have passed in route here. So now everything is looking the same. Our other tabs are working. When we go to the details screen, we see our header gets updated and our tab bar gets hidden. When we hit the home button again, we get the tab bar again and we're back to our initial state. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and combine our draw navigator into our app and we'll see some common use cases there as well. Till then, I hope you guys try this out. And as always, thank you for watching.